Yeah, see? You got sensors on here for a reason. How many people have you told about me finding your buck? Quite a few. Yeah. <laughs> right here. That's no him buck. I think that buck you jumped last night was not him though. Alrighty, good morning folks. Welcome back to Drone Deer Recovery. I'm Mike. We are uh, going to be headed out on a call. Southeast Ohio is where it's at. But first I have to uh, take back a uh, bucket that I had rented that I forgot about because I've been busy, you know, finding deer. So we're gonna run, pick up that bucket, take it down the road, drop it off, and then we'll be headed out to find this deer for this guy. He hit it last night. They tracked it for about 250 yards jumped a buck he said he can't tell if it was that buck for sure but it was a buck that he jumped he feels like it was and uh, he just doesn't want to continue pushing it he feels like it's a little far back he's going to get us to locate the deer and then figure out what he wants to do from there oh i'm gonna run over that thing yup there it goes oh come on there it is <gasps> oh much for that bumper. I was watching my trailer too much. <laughs> well, that ain't good. Uh, what the heck? Oh, it caught right here. It was just that little uh, black thing sticking out. No wonder. I was like, I'm not that close. That stuck out six inches. Now I got a jacked up bumper. Now let me show you how we're gonna get that bucket up front there. I'm gonna go forward and hit the brakes. Boom! Never mind. Jeez. Can we both do it? No, I probably can't. That thing's heavy. Oh yeah. Boom. We don't have a weak cameraman around here. We got a strong cameraman. Mike needs a, a couple, a couple ibuprofen. My head's starting to starting to throb. Do you think Dollar General would have something like that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I hate using drugs, but when my, my head is all jacked up, I feel like I need to use something. Ugh. Oh, here we go. This is the good stuff. Have a great day. You too. Thanks. Alrighty. I'm good already. <laughs> we are almost uh, at our first location. We are three minutes out. This guy is probably getting a little nervous. I told him he'd be there at 10:15. Uh, it's now 10:25 a.m. Uh, had to stop get some stuff for my head. It's not feeling too good. And uh, yeah, just running late. Sorry about that. But hopefully you'll find this deer for him quickly. Conditions are absolutely ideal. It's been raining all night. Well, I don't know about down here, but we got buzzards over there is what uh, Kevin's pointing out. But yeah, conditions are great. It's overcast, it's wet, it's raining, or it was raining and uh, should be perfect. How's it going? Pretty good. 
Forgive me, my head is a little stuffed. Hey, I know that fella. Hey, as long as you find it, we're good. <laughs> um, from where, like from here, where do you think he's at? I shot him over this side of the big tree. Okay. He came down the field and the corner there, the wood, went down in there and just started turning. Then I chomped him up uh, down here, maybe 80 yards before this field here. Uh, and I, yeah, then I just backed out. So I don't know, is he down here? Did he go or, or if, yeah, okay. He should be down here somewhere. Cool, and, you guys haven't gone down there this morning? No, we have gone. Last night we were down there. Did you uh, say you put a rage in him? Or yeah, what? Rage, yeah. 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 Good, well that's good. If, if you did get gut with a rage, it'll cut it uh -huh. big enough uh -huh. hold that it'll. How many people have you told about me finding your buck? Yeah. <laughs> right here. <laughs> Were you hunting with him last night? No, I came down with him. Yeah, I had to stop and get some drugs to try to clear up my head. Okay. I hate taking drugs, but doggone it. I've been feeling like badonka donk. Check weather front left frame. What does that mean? What? Yeah, see? You got sensors on here for a reason. Perfect searching conditions, that is faux show. Some thick stuff down there. Yeah. Give me that mark. Small book. That's mm -hmm. insane. Wow. <laughs> oh, he actually said he could have went to the right. You didn't have he much blood to He could have went to the and right. And he was not sure it was the same book he jumped down. Oh, okay. Okay, so we'll probably go out the other direction. He doesn't have like a whole bunch of areas he can hide. No. Jeez, my hands are froze. <laughs> okay, I gotta sit in the truck. My hands are freezing. <sighs> you guys can sit in here. Well, we just gotta keep taking this out around. <clears throat> Got those three there, two little bucks and one doe. This is just a bunch of deer to pick through. There's another buck. Jeez, a lot of bucks down here. Yeah. That's doe. That's no buck. That is a wide one. Let's look at that. One, two, three, you four, bet. five. So it's a nine pointer in Southern Spray. I'm telling you, if you have another one that's this wide and has a nine frame, we are gonna be effed to right. try to find that deer. Right. Yeah, think about it. You said it's on the right side and that's the, the that's the point. Yeah. The reason I say we won't be able to find a spot is if it rains all night and he's he laid there, he'll lick that off and you won't even be able to see. Now, if it cut a bunch of hair off, then maybe. You, you won't want to jump him. I don't want to jump him. You, you don't want to jump this deer. Like, if this is your deer, he's not going to die. Let me come back, get where a battery. Where is he at? He's, right on the back side of this. So we're, obviously, you shot him right there, and you said he came down here, you jumped him in here. Yep, mm -hmm. right in here. Okay, so now, to, now I'll just keep following that wood line. 
So all he did is he, he took that whole line yeah. and went right to the corner. Because he's laying right in this corner over here. Oh, that's where he's at. Yep. I'll get closer, but I don't want to bump the deer out. Right now, he doesn't know that somebody's after him. No. If we start getting too close to him, see, he's right, laying in right that corner. We're convinced we found his deer. We got a nine, nine point wide. It's got the same point on the other, uh, on the same side as his picture. That's a nice deer though. Yeah. Massive, like he's got mass. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's an old deer. Yeah. This is about as good at forward as I'm gonna get for you. This deer is not gonna die. Whoa. Later, maybe when you put an arrow in <laughs> later, but. What do you say? We found him. Mm -hmm. I think that buck you jumped last night was not him though. What I would predict is he just went right back through there and there were at least seven that we found that could have hit it easy. He taller than yours. He, yeah, he didn't look quite as wide or taller, but I just see, seen him for a few jumps I could yeah. see for sure. That was a <laughs> long way for a deer not dead. Yeah, yeah well, I'll probably call you maybe at the end of this week. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, you, you want to not have to get me out, but I, hey, I'll come find it if you if you need help. So we just rolled up here. We uh, talked to him, got a little bit of intel of where he hit the deer. He hit him uh, out back here behind us. And then he gave us a little bit of insight that he feels like he dropped over the hill and then moved out around. He jumped a buck down in here last night that he feels that may have been his deer, but he's not 100% sure. Uh, took the drone out, first looked at the area behind us here. Found a couple deer in there, a couple bucks, nothing too serious. We moved out around, came, kept, taking that hill all the way around the side there. Finally, we located his buck. He's He wasn't sure that it's his. I brought the drone in a little bit closer, gave him a couple different angles, and it is, in fact, the deer that he hit. Took about, I think it was right around 20 minutes for me to locate him. He's laying with uh, two bucks and a doe. The deer's fine. It looks like he may have hit in front of the shoulder a little high, got a pass through, but it's just not a hit that's gonna kill him. So we were able to look at that. He's very happy with the results as far as using the drone. He wishes the deer be dead, but you know, at this point he confirmed that deer is alive and he, and he can sleep easy now knowing that. Cause there's a lot of time that goes into these deer. I mean, he has history four years on this deer and he wants to respect the deer how he can. He brought two friends down here. One of his friends, I already located a buck for him earlier this season, so he was co totally convinced on the technology. He knew what he was looking at, looking at the screen. He's like telling his buddies, hey, check this out, right here's a deer. So that's uh, it's cool. The more people that get to be around the technology and see how it works, you don't even have to sell it. The deer are all tucked over the side of the ridge. They're trying to stay out of the wind. It's, it's a little windy out here. It's snowing a little bit. It was raining earlier when we were on our way here, but uh, turned into snow cloudy perfect searching conditions i searched for a while there and uh finally my hands were freezing so i switched went back into the truck had the heat blowing on my hands so i can uh, control the drone properly it was a little chilly out here thanks for being here make sure to hit the subscribe button i appreciate you guys watching and blowing us up on instagram uh, but we're going to be on to the next one